Network, the Oprah Winfrey Network own. She's looking for the next star to host a TV show. And so it's a competition. Mark Burnett is the producer. So when I was called up and he said, hey, Oprah and Mark Burnett want you to do this show and host yeah. a show, I was like, okay, let me think about it for five seconds. Right. I was like, and now wait a minute, am I going to pay you? Or are you actually gonna, you're going to pay me to do this? This is to my work dream. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's one of my career goals. Now, have you guys started taping off. that yet? We or? have. Yes, yeah. we actually have started taping it. So Ooh, that should be good. I'm in the know about yes. the future TV Coming stars. out in a couple of months. How did she pick you in to January. be the host? She's fantastic at picking oh, someone to be she, the host. But Well, I was just, that was what I was saying. I was just extremely flattered. It's one of my career goals. So I got to check off that box of working right. with Oprah. And when Oprah says, you know, and she was, she was there the other day and we were on the show together. And I was like, what do I do? Should I like <laughs> lead the show? Because Oprah's on the stage. There's no one there. <laughs> exactly. <Oprah>. So, <laughs> she hasn't called me back yet. I'm still waiting on that call. But that's right. I'll call you and maybe you can call her for me, right? Now, you're the only woman I know that can go from doing inter interviewing entertainers to scrapbooking and make it look sexy. <laughs> Tell me about this because you, I know you have Ashby. She's three years old. You've yes. got your stepsons, Tyler and Carson. Right. So you're putting your memories together. Tell us about this. I am. Well, I wrote a book called Full of Love in conjunction with the fabulous company Creative Memories. Right. And I've just scrapbooked all of my life. Like, literally, I'm the fifth generation scrapbooker in my family. This is your and mother, right? That is my mother. This okay. is one that I did digitally. Okay. So what we did in conjunction with Creative Memories is I wrote the book. I also came out with a line of products because I've done right. this for so long in my life and everybody takes pictures yes. and they hate themselves later when they wind up in a box in the garage or either stuck on the computer. It's so I true. wanted to make it easy for busy parents because okay. it's so important and that's one thing that we say in the book in addition to giving you easy ways to do it right. is that we say in the book that I interview a child psychologist and he says it is literally there's hardly any other tools that are more powerful and and th then a family photo album and creating healthy, self-confident, self-assured kids. Because wow. when you take a photo of them and you put it in a scrapbook or you take their A-plus paper and you put it in a scrapbook, you've just said to them, you matter, mm -hmm. you're important, you're part of a family, you're part of a unit. And especially with all the current topics of bullying and everything, it's so important to make a child feel like that. Ooh, it just and got the chills. Oh, it made me feel good, though. Because you do just, take a million and one pictures, but to actually take the time out and put it in an album so that they can look at it years later, yeah. it makes a difference. And we. It it's so important, and as we also started this grassroots effort, which is called the Album of Hope, and th then a family photo album, and creating healthy, self-confident, self-assured kids. Because wow. when you take a photo of them, and you put it in a scrapbook, or you take their A-plus paper, and you put it in a scrapbook, you have just said to them, you matter, mm -hmm. you're important, you're part of a family and you put it in a scrapbook or you take their A-plus paper and you put it in a scrapbook, you have just said to them, you matter, mm -hmm. you're important, you're part of a family, you're part of a unit, and especially with all the current topics of bullying and everything, it's so important to make a child feel like that. Ooh, it just and got the chills. Oh. It made me feel good, though, because you do take a million and one pictures, but to actually take the time out and put it in an album so that they can look at it years later, yeah. it makes a difference. And we, it it, difference. it's so important, and that's, we also started this grassroots effort, which is called the Album of Hope Initiative, and so the 40,000 creative memory consultants across the United States are helping me with this. Wow. And our goal is to have every parent out there make an album of hope for their child. The album of hope, like for Ashby, is like telling them your hopes and dreams. And Honestly, like I mean, for people who've never scrapbooked. Yeah. Of course, you can do all this digitally, too. The whole line is available digitally. But the papers and everything match. So you don't even mm -hmm. have to think about it. And they're pre-cut mats for all the pictures. So they're the sizes that will work perfectly with the 4 by 6 And they all mix and match. And, but my, you know, I say my hopes for I hope family is always most important to you well, and then it doesn't hurt that they're already gorgeous too so <laughs> you cannot take a bad picture we're going to sit and look at some more of these pictures together okay Nancy because be I want you to stick around and I want um, you to do it for your baby I am I definitely am okay. I am here she's one of the nation's most sought after designers and she's going to help you she's got some great tips on everything that you should do before you even step foot into a store good to have you back Jen thank you it's good to be back most people do it the exact opposite way of what you're about to tell us including myself good <laughs> so <laughs> you said a lot of people do that right everybody does and that's okay. why this is such a big important topic whether you're assembling your very first home or your very first home that matters because most times people who are watching today already have some things purchased but right. this is like a fail-proof way before you buy anything to save money mm -hmm. actually if you plan and I'm a big advocate of dreaming big mm -hmm. even if you have no money right now think in terms of your home there's a um, you gotta be inspired by something get, right? yeah, get inspiration yeah. and dream like it, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail I love that statement so think about it in your house don't have any budget constraints don't have any time constraints so with all the choices for Halloween this year, I thought it'd be fun to get dolled up as two of my favorite celebs and a notorious reality star with the help of celebrity makeup artist Michelle Champagne. 
Hi, Michelle. Hi, Leslie. How are you? First up, how can I look like the gorgeous Christina Hendricks from AMC's Mad Men? Well, a big thing in cosmetics now is the strip eyelashes, and it's perfect for the Mad Men. Back then, they didn't have a lot of shimmers in their makeup, so we're going to stick with peachy tones, apricot tones, sort of a nude eye. What I'm going to do is use a uh, liquid liner and now a gel liner and just put lashes on you next. Once you apply the glue just to the edge of the line of the lash, let it dry, let it get tacky because people put their lashes on too quickly and then they slide all over the place. So I'm going to use this anti-feathering stick by Too Faced. And for our final product, we're using a very warm red. Voila! Time for a little dramatic Gaga Glam. So what we're going to do now is just add. We're going to add a little bit of everything. When you're doing smoky eyes, it's just about building the color and adding more depth as you go along. We'll use the dark black. Double the lashes and add more gray. Do you think a lot of people will be wearing the meat dress this I Halloween? I think it could happen. Nah, I'm not doing a meat dress. Come on. I'll stick with the look she sports on stage. Now, Snooki has her own look, that's for sure. But can I really pull it off? We're going to keep the foundation and powder the same, and we're going to transition into Snooki really quickly. So what we're doing is we're just sweeping this all over. After a gel bronzer, add more bronzer. There's a blue color that she sometimes wears, so I'm just going to add this blue tone. This is called Living in Sin by Too Faced. I don't know what is. And it's perfect for getting that snooky pout down pat. The key to transforming into all these looks, big lashes, rosy cheeks, and berry lips. I don't know. I kind of think all of them are glamorous. Back, everyone. It's time for Hot Topics. We're here with Nancy O'Dell, host, mother, scrapbooker. You do a little bit of everything. Good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> okay, I have Hot Topics for you. This is the first time we've ever done this. I've got two yeah, sets I'm a of cards here. Nervous about here. this. Don't be nervous, baby. I got you. <laughs> two sets of cards here with two totally different kinds of questions. Which one do you want? I don't get to see the you questions before I choose the card. All right. I get to see. Them. Let's go on the right side because the right should be right. Okay. All right. Uh, all about your sex life. Ready? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Okay, these are all good questions because I'm, I'm going to look out for you. Okay. Um, what has been your best job so far and what has been your worst job so far? Oh, my gosh. Um, or either or. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I'm going to have to say the best job so far, um, well, being a mom, yes. of course, number one. That. There's no question about that. But if you're talking about a job that, you know, where it's, it's in, you considered get paid, a career you get and you get paid for it. Probably working with Oprah just recently on wow. your own show. Yeah. And the yeah. fact that I sat there and I talked to her and she, I said, you know, are you excited about your new network? And she said, I'm not excited in the fact that I have a new network, but I'm excited that I get to put stuff on TV where I want everybody to take a little light away, mm. something like positive, that they get something from each of the shows. Yeah. And that's just kind of what she exudes. And, and that's like, what you're all about, too. I know you want to get something from what you're doing, right? Oh, wow. I, I love you, Nancy. I love good, goodness. Yes. So. Okay, next one here. Your all-time favorite city. I know you're a Southern girl. But yeah. is it a southern city? My all-time favorite, yes, it is. Yeah. Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. I lived there for three years. I hope to retire there. There's nothing better. It's got history. It's got charm. It's got southern people. Wow. They're all so sweet. Um, it's got the beach. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. very close to my family. And you so. want to retire there, too. So I do. I want to retire there. I want to get a, get a house right there on Kiowa Island. I see. Uh, just invite me over, please. Do. Uh, do you have any <laughs> phobias <will>. at all? <laughs> any phobias? Yes. Oh, God. What do you want to name off the list? <laughs> um, I uh, I don't like spiders at all. Spiders? They <laughs> okay. freak me out. What about bad habits? Any bad habits that you can tell us about? I can't remember wherever I put my iPhone. <laughs> you know? You're always asking for that thing. I am. I can't remember. Yes. My baby girl, you can tell her, she'll be like, we'll get in the bed and we'll be like, where are your blankies? And she'll say, where are my blankies? Fun.